Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and hello to you especially my amazing math community. In today's video I'll be introducing you to a unique and innovative technique for solving difficult order 4 equations. It's an exciting approach that you might not have come across before and with this new method in our toolkit we'll tackle the equation head on and find its solutions. If you are passionate about math as I am and eager to expand your knowledge, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join our math community and together we'll explore exciting mathematical concepts and solve complex problems. So what do we have? We have x4 plus 8x3 plus 30x2 plus 56x plus 36 equals 0. Generally speaking, when we have an equation of order 4, um, or any order, there are a couple of ways to solve these problems. One is to use a formula if uh, it is existent. So for quartic equations, we have a formula. Nevertheless, they are very difficult. You can find them on Wikipedia. And to, in today's video, I'm not going to solve it using that formula because it's also kind of cheating. And... Um, Another way to solve this problem would be to factorize it to its constituent, yeah, multiplying factors. And that is also not always possible because uh, what if the roots are not rational and integers? Well, then I don't know who can really find those beautiful factors and set that equal to zero and then find the roots easily. And the third way is basically to guess the roots, which basically kind of has to do with the second way, factorization. And again, uh, it's not always easy to, let's say, um, find a root such as x equals 1 or minus 1 or 1 over 2 or minus 1 over 2. It just doesn't work always. You can feel free to, uh, yeah, try these numbers. But yeah, what if, again, I have this... Um, question so what if the roots are not just uh, rational so how can we solve this problem with this new technique to, in today's video i'm gonna use this um, identity a plus b to the power of four which is if i expand it it is a to the power of four plus four a three b plus six a two b two plus four a b three plus b4. So what I'm going to do is just compare these to our equation and let's take a to be x, b I don't know, and let's just uh, rewrite our equation and in this form or at least do our best and see what we get. So then I have x4 plus 4x3 times 2, it generates 8, plus 6x2 times 5 generates 30, plus 4x times 14, it generates 56, plus 36, okay? This is equal to 0. And if I compare these guys, let's say b is 2, then b2 must be 4, which is not true, it's 5, and b3 must be 8, again, that is 14. So then you might come to the conclusion, well, it's just useless. But wait a minute, what if... I have another trick. Let's multiply this equation here by 2. Then I get 2x4 plus 4x3. I multiply it with the number inside parentheses. And then I get here 4 plus 6x2, 10 plus 4x times 28 plus 72. This is equal to 0. And, well, I have 2x4 it kind of suggests that maybe actually instead of putting it equal to something like x plus b to the power of 4, maybe I should put it equal to x plus b1 to the power of 4 plus um, x plus b2 to the power of 4. In that scenario, then this will be 2x4 plus 4x3 times b1 plus b2 if you just sum them up plus 6, 6x2 times b1, 2 plus b2, 2, um, plus 4x times b1, 3 plus b2, 3, 
plus b14 plus b24. Okay, then if I put this equal to this guy here, then I should get b1 plus b2. This is equal to 4. And then I have b1 uh, 2 plus b2 2. This is equal to, so what do I have here? 10. Okay. And then I have b1 3 plus b2 3. This is equal to, I have here 28. And then the last one is 72. And that is basically b1 4 plus b2 4 equals, well, I don't know. This is not necessarily because I have four equations here. I have to be careful. But if you just look at these um, system of equations, you can easily find out actually if you take b1 to b1, b2 to b3, this is uh, satisfied, this is also satisfied, and this is also satisfied because it's 1 plus 3 to the power of 3 is 28. However, this cannot be necessarily satisfied. But if I go with these numbers, then this should generate 1 to the power of 4 plus 3 to the power of 4, which is basically 82. It's okay, because for the last number, I can just yeah consider that I have 82 and then sub subtract it. Then I can write this equation here as the following. Instead of that, which I basically derived it from my main equation, then I have x plus 1 you remember this was equal to x plus b1 to the power of 4 plus x plus b2 to the power of 4. And I took b1 and b2 to b1 and 3 and it beautifully was equal to all of the terms except for the last one, which is basically 82 and yeah, there I have 72. But then I can take care of that. So this is this plus x plus 3 to the power of 4. I have 72 and also because it generates... 82 then I have to just subtract it. This is equal to 0. And this will be minus 10. I can take it to the other side of the equation. So basically what I have is, is this equation here. x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus x plus 3 to the power of 4. This is equal to 10. Very nice. Because exactly I wanted this. Whenever I have an equation of order 4 in this form, there is a beautiful trick. And the trick is, you take the average of these two numbers here, which is basically 1 plus 3 divided by 2 is, is 2, and then you do a beautiful change of variables, and that is, you take x equals to be something like w minus 2, okay? And you, we basic, this 2 comes from here, the average of those two numbers. And if I just replace x with that variable, then I get w minus 2 plus 1, which is basically w minus 1 to the power of 4, plus w minus 2 plus 3, which is w plus 1 to the power of 4. This is equal to 10. And I guess you know why I took the average, because now there are certain terms when I expand these two um, quartic expressions, there are certain terms which cancel out each other. And if I just do that, so that is basically w4 minus 4w3 plus 6w2 minus 4w plus 1. And then here I get for the second one w4 plus 4w3 plus 6w2 plus uh, 4w plus 1. This is equal to 10. Yeah, you can easily see that these terms, these difficult ones, the, uh, the basically uh, the one which have um, an order of an or, an odd order, they cancel out each other. And then what I am remained with is technically a quadratic equation because yeah, you can just take w two to be a new variable. So what this gives me is two w four plus twelve w2 plus 2 equals 10, which is basically, you can say, this is equal to 8. Or in other words, um, if you just bring 8 to the other side and also multiply, uh, divide both sides by 2, then you get w4 plus 6, w2 
minus 4 this is equal to 0 and then you can easily use quadratic formula so w2 must be equal to minus 6 plus minus square root of 36 plus um, 16 okay divided by 2 and that is uh, 4 52 and this is basically minus 6 plus minus square root of 52 can be written as 4 times 13 divided by 2 you bring 4 out um, and then this gives me minus 3 plus minus square root of 13 obviously the minus cannot be accepted because well you can accept that as well it creates complex roots but I'll give you that exercise to you guys so you can feel free to find the complex roots but here I'll just go for the real roots so I take w2 to be uh, square root of 13 minus 3 which is definitely positive and that means w is uh, square root of square root of 13 minus 3 okay and what was w w was um, x plus 2 right or you could say x equals w minus 2 which means by the way here when I um, do the square root then I have also plus minus and that means so 1x will be a square root of uh, square root of 13 minus 3 and minus 2 and then the second x would be x2 equals square root of square root of sorry I have to put the minus I forgot it this will be minus square root of square root of 13 minus 3 minus 2 so these are two real roots and there are also two complex roots and I'll give that exercise to you guys so that was it we solved this problem i hope that you enjoyed it so if you enjoyed solving this challenging equation with me and want to see more math content like this don't forget to give this video first of all a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button because by subscribing you'll stay updated with all the latest math videos on my channel and together we'll continue to explore fascinating math topics, tackle difficult problems, and unlock the beautiful beauty of mathematics. Thank you for joining me on this incredible math adventure, and I'll see you in the next video.